What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl. Welcome back to Bay Area Aquatics. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how a sponge filter works. All right, so it's a question I get asked all the time in Facebook groups is how exactly do sponge filters work? I mean, how do they filter the water? All I see is air bubbles coming up. How do I know it's working? Um, what, you know, what does it do? It just sits in the tank and I don't know how it actually filters it. It's not running it through anything. It actually is. So the way that these sponge filters work is actually super simple. So you're gonna need something like an air pump. This is the one off of my quarantine tank, which is why it's hooked up with all the airline tubing. Um, something like an air pump or like in the tank back right about there. Um, I've got that sponge filter running off of a power head. Um, that's not the common way to do it. I've got a video on it. I think it's up in this corner if I remember right. Um, that's not the most common way to do it, but I like to run that. That's my third filter in that 75 gallon tank. I've got two Aquaclear 110s. And so I like to run it because I don't like the noise of an air pump, but I want the extra filtration. Um, in the tanks where I run a sponge filter as the main source, I run those ones off of air. So basically the way that the sponge filters are designed to work, this one at least, has a little uh, nozzle right here that the airline tubing will clip onto. So now that I've grabbed my airline tubing, it's gonna kind of slide down here. This uh, is stretched. So, but basically it slips onto the little nipple here um, and the airline tubing is attached. Now what happens is your air pump will send air through this hose. It comes down right in here on the uh, sponge filter part. The air has to escape. The air goes up. So it goes up through this lift tube and it brings water with it. It sucks water up with it. Now what happens when it's sucking water up with it, it has to get the water from somewhere. That's where these sponges come in. Is there's these little tiny holes it's hard to see, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus. There's little tiny holes in these stacks and it allows water to seep through into the actual PVC of the filter. So you put a sponge on the inside or on the outside of that and it pulls the water through the sponge into the tubes and it lifts up out and comes out of this part and my camera's being all weird with its focus. Um, but it comes out of this part. That in simplicity is how a sponge filter works. Now there's a couple of different types of sponge filters. These are my favorite type. This is a very small one, um, but they're dual sponges. The main reason I like these is one, they suction to the back of the tank or side of the tank or whatever you can kind of see. There's suction cups there. Um, I like the ones with two suction cups. The ones with one suction cups tend to fall off of the tank all the time. The other reason I like these ones is they have a directional output. So in like a beta tank, I can turn this to the side of the aquarium and it doesn't exactly put out as strong of a current, yet I still get the same flow. It's just pointed a different direction. The other awesome thing about this type is I can pull one of these off. I can go buy a second one of these, put one new one on, and then take this old one and put it on a new tank. And now I've seeded a new tank to be cycled. Um, it's great if you're buying fish constantly or if you, you know, might need to set up a hospital tank or whatever it may be. Having a couple of spares, you can easily set up a whole nother tank and be good to go by just pulling one off and not crashing the cycle on the other one. The single sponge filters that you see, you can't really do that. I've seen some people like cut them in half and they buy a new one and cut that one in half. I don't like doing that. I think that's kind of a waste of a sponge, but that does work as well. Another type of filter you see all the time is actually called a box filter. In the beta groups on Facebook, everyone calls them sponge filters. They're not actually sponge filters. It is a different type of filter. It's the same concept. You're using air to create like a, a suction vacuum and you're moving water through media that way. Um, but they're a lot more customizable. They're not quite a sponge filter. Um, but just so you know, someone might call that a sponge filter. If you see a picture of that or see someone running that in a tank, they're technically box filters, not sponge filters. Some of the reasons why you might wanna run a sponge filter is one, they're cheap. I mean, I can get a four pack of those little sponge filters that I just had for like eight or $9 on Amazon and my camera's being all weird again. There we go. Um, I can get a 10 or a four pack of them for like 10 bucks. Um, I can get the bigger ones of those that'll run on like these tanks for like 20 bucks for a four pack. You can buy the single like four and a half inch ones like what's back here. I think this was like an eight or nine dollar sponge filter. Um, super cheap. Air pumps, a Tetra 10 for a 10 gallon is like six dollars on Amazon. Um, add a 99 cent check valve and like two dollars for the airline tubing and you've got yourself an awesome filter for a 10 gallon. 
Um, so very common, very common in fish rooms where they want to run a big central air system um, and they power each of the tanks via air, so they run sponge filters. Um, they're cheap, they're effective, and they've been around forever. As far as mechanical filtration, they're not the best at that. They will pick up a little bit of stuff, um, and if you lift them out of the tank to clean them, you'll notice a ton of stuff falls off of it. But as far as like, if you've got something like plecos that are pooping a lot, you're still gonna end up you know, cleaning the tank, gravel backing. Um, it's not gonna be like a hang on back where it picks up all that mulm and stuff like that. Quite honestly, I don't really know what else to say about sponge filters. Um, super simple, super easy, super cheap, super effective. Um, let me know if you run sponge filters down in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything or if you're not clear and this video made no sense. Um, I will remake it or add another subject topic or, or whatever it may be. Um, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Also, if you do, hit that notification bell. Get notified every time that I post a video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.